Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Whoopi speaking. And I go on uh, tonight on the third go toroid transformer because it seems to me to be very interesting. I uh, re-picture it the uh, schematic. And just for information, I can say to you that all this direction of diodes, exactly this one and not this one, has to go this diode and this diode here. This diode here and this diode there is very important to get a good arcing. I just show you for the interested the probe scopes I took, but it is not for tonight. Okay. Just for information for the next uh, picture, perhaps uh, this probe is not grounded. It is simply put aside the the wire copper. It is not connected because if I have connected, it is uh, my scope is not able to read the very high voltage. All right? Okay. But for the input uh, scope, I put uh, one ohm resistor here and uh, as normal. All right? But it is not the aim of tonight. Tonight, I wanted to make a test for electrolysis. So, I put one of the electrodes in a tap water. You see, here, yeah, simply in the water. All right? And then I wanted to put the second electrode in the water to see if I get electrolysis. All right? And I will show you what happened. I put 13 volt here okay and when i tried to insert the second um, uh, electrode in the water what happened the second electrode simply melt on contact with water is incredible okay I shut down yes it is very interesting this third go system I just show you my uh, new configuration and now I have no more arcing since one day and I've let, uh, done a lot of tests you see this 500 turns per side of the toroid 500 500 and each layer I could about make 100, then 70, then uh, even less, and each time separated with uh, masking tape. And now the isolation is enough to support the melting. And always my four, uh, um, uh, 41, tip 41C, and only one uh, 680 ohm, but you can uh, play with all this. All right, this is the uh, resistor for the measuring. Okay, I think it is enough for tonight. Thanks for watching and good night at all.